just close your eyes. All processes have been loaded, installed, and locked in. This is log one of subject 299B, date January 17th, 4729. I thought we were done with these behavior studies. This one just sparked my interest, and I thought as my student, you could learn quite a bit from this one. <sighs> Alright, what are the specifics? Subject 299B, primary language English, social class middle, lifestyle independent, birth date March 3rd, 1994, death date February 2nd, 2019, died at 24 years old. How would you describe this subject? This person goes through the world silent and observant. The motivation for his chosen isolation is his fear of other people. He's quite antisocial. Is that all there is to him? Well, he doesn't stay inside all the time. He has a career, though I wouldn't call it something ideal to be in. Every day he works in commercial customer service, making and serving beverages under a soulless corporation and being compensated just enough to pay his monthly rent. Does he have any aspirations such as haven't been expressed yet? Usually with these types of people, you would think so. But at least they have some motivation for waking up in the morning. He has made no worth to himself. How about friends? Family? Unfortunately, at this point in his life, he's blocked off practically everyone he's ever known. He has no roommates for his inner city apartment, which otherwise would have benefited him to not pay so much at his age. He's made the conscious decision to live alone, inconveniencing himself to tire of his body more than he should. Then what is the interest? You've showed me the richest of man, the most astute of scholars, the most creative of artists, and many more people of high personal achievement. It was intriguing to take notes on these people and their relationship with their times, but then you show me this? What is so special about him? That's just it. There is nothing special about him. He has no passion for anything, no want for material possessions, no desire for love or leadership. He is much different than the ones we've studied before, as him in relation to his world is nothing of notoriety. Nothing of notoriety in relation to his world. See, why I brought you here is to show you the types of people that don't seek to impress or need to validate themselves in their society. It may sound like I dislike him, which to a degree I certainly do, but there is one interesting thing about him, his imaginary world. That is his motivation to living. Something that isn't technically anything. Like an abstraction? That's correct. Only an idea, but never anything real. It's a dream world. But everyone we've observed has a dream world. What's so special about his? His dream world is only made up of abstract ideas, is what I'm saying. He doesn't dream for material possessions, a lifetime partner, a new lifestyle. He only dreams himself to be happy. That's not very specific. The subject himself is not very specific. He never really knows what he wants, only follows what his world thinks is best. But his real motivation to continue living is so he could enter this world to dream. Only to dream? Yes, because his dream of bliss is so impractical that that's all he lives for. But what happens when he dies? He'll die. Little worth to be known for. He works until he's dead, as long as he can feel a little bit of happiness for himself every time he closes his eyes. But what about his dreams? What about his dreams? Do his dreams die with him? Well, that's a bit complicated. His happiness is experienced by his own mind. So his dreams would actually be achieved when he dies. No longer living would mean he would no longer be living in the social world anymore. That's very strange. Yes, he will not make anything of worth at all throughout his entire life. His last breath is where he spends his time most, and no one will remember him. But he doesn't care for such compassion. All he wants to do is hide from the world. All he wants to do is close his eyes. Just close your eyes.